Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Potato Panda TV here, and we're back with some Detroit Become Human. Detroit Becomes Human. And the last mission that was up was a kind of like a where Connor got revived, and he went to meet with Hank, and Hank this morning, a did some something there. to himself. I guess we'll just kind of leave it at that. And then Connor, uh, the right Marcus. Marcus kind of riled up the cloud and we're going to try doing a revolution. And granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, who that, who that, who that? Is this like the press secretary or is this supposed to be the president? I guess they probably already said that. <laughs> I'm just, never know. They don't know until you know. I am now asking all civilians to White House. cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done Let's to guarantee the security of our nation. Beat him up. Madam President, as the leader, the Deviant's Hell been no. apprehended. The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track well, it down and neutralize it. I do things where I'm um, asking questions. Is it true that the androids could hack our IT system, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Please! Worry, right, uh... Madam President! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are uh, also set to... How many questions are we going to answer? I have no information on that at this time. Why not? Please! Is it true that a large number of deviants are still on the loose? We don't have the full reports at this time, but if so, I can assure you... Oh, no, that's not good. I gotta beat them up. Thank you. Bada bada y'all, pipsties. Madame Presidente. It's ma'am. Today, November 11, 2038, is the day the android people rose Damn. up against their oppressors. Jericho. We've been fighting since dawn to liberate Wait, our fellow the walls down. camps. We won't cease hostilities until we are free. Let's do negotiations this. Negotiations begin to grant us equal I rights. I like equal rights and lefts. There are millions of us. Millions. I don't know if there's really. I wonder if there really are millions of androids. I'm sure if there's several thousand in just Detroit, there would be. I guess it makes sense that there'd be thousands in other cities and whatnot, so. I guess there's always a chance there could be millions of them around somewhere. Oh, I guess I gotta make him walk forward. There we go. Hey, what the hell's going on? Yeah. Oh, is this where we're doing our little revolution? Oops. That was, for some reason I thought it was to push the circle button. Shoot him in the face. Shoot him in the face. Right in your big disgrace. Come on, I just got him. Hopefully Mark has got at least what one person survived this game. Now that car is gone. I mean, I guess Connor's still, I guess, alive, but they can just kind of bring him back whenever, it looks like. Heart Plaza. Uh-oh. Has he got a sniper rifle in there or something? Damn, that's probably got a snipper sniper rifle. Is he gonna fucking shoot, take out Marcus? Oh, spaghetti is what you got there, Connor. Yep, that's what I figured. I mean, what else would I give? What else would he have in there? Oh, I gotta, <laughs> gotta do all this manually. But I mean, I guess you'd have to do it manually if I was putting together a gun in real life like this. Uh oh. 
Oh, damn, he's got Marcus. Put the rifle down and turn around with your hands in the air. Uh oh. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I'm on your side. I can shoot the leader of the Deviants and stop the revolution, but you have to let me. Put the gun down, turn around. This is your last uh -oh, spaghetti warning. I know you. You caught Hell yeah. the android from that hostage situation. I knew we'd meet again. My orders are to detain any androids I find. You're coming with me. I don't understand. My mission is too important to let you interfere. Oh, shit. Uh oh, damn it. Come on, Connor, what the hell? Oh, damn it, I should have done this. Spider Man, Spooder Man over here. Oh no! Damn, I push. I hate. Oh god, damn it! I hate QTEs. Oh fuck! I almost missed it again. Hell yeah! Fuck him, Connor. Fuck him in the A. F him in the A. What the hell's going on now? Oh, the eyes eye fucking up. Oh, the weapon's damaged. Son of a bitch. What you gonna do now, Connor? Damn, I definitely don't remember this part. You should have listened to me, Captain. Damn. And the situation is escalating towards civil war in Detroit, with our armed forces preparing <laughs> to put down the Android Rebellion. They seem to be headed towards the camps where the androids have been interned pending destruction. Uh, Soldiers are taking oh, up man, positions around there, the Paul. Hart Plaza camp. They're glitched. Authorities seem to be expecting a confrontation with the rebel androids here at any time. Damn, look at them. Gun. Yeah, blow them in the head. 11 on 1 p.m. Oh, I guess we started with the war, so we might as well finish it. Freedom or death. Attack! Bitches! Here's some bitches. Number us and they're better armed than we are. We've got to be fast and overwhelm them. That's our only hope. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get to that fucking camp and free our people. Hell yeah. Be careful, Marcus. Our people need you. Damn. Pretty cool. Oh, whoops. Josh! Oh, shit. Is he dead? Oh, I guess he's not dead. God damn it, Josh. Oops, I guess he's new. Won't save me this time, Marcus. The blood we spill will be on our hands. Damn, Josh. 
Josh, Joshy Washy. I'll oh, basically gotta do this for North. Come on, North. I got two guns. <laughs> We're going. We're not gonna take Josh's. Hey, there you go. Got some James Bond shit going on here. I don't want to die, Marcus. I don't want to die either. Hide here. Don't move till it's over, okay? Let's see what's we're going now. What you gonna do now? I'm a fire man. Oh snap! Days. I guess that wouldn't have worked out anyways. Damn. Fifty-five percent. Fifty-five percent. That's. That's better than... Oh, shit. Oh, damn, I can't shoot anybody. Whoops. Guess that didn't look out too well. Damn, cool. Cool, cool, cool. On my signal. Stand by. Follow me. Yeah, yeah baby, we can do this. 65% we're getting when we're getting it. We can't move forward. That machine gun is Dang, 60 cent, 60 percent. Stand by. In position. Stand by. Jericho, sons of bitches. 80%? Fuck yeah! Hell yeah. We're nearly there, Marcus. Uh-oh. Oh, they're bringing out the big boy. Freedom, bitches. Oh, damn. How the fuck did I miss him? Uh oh. This doesn't look good. It took me a while oh, to damn. Find Connor, Connor, Connor's here. Hell yeah. Drop kick his ass. Beat his ass. In fact, we gotta finish this with, finish this with Marcus. Oh, son of a bitch. I missed it. Beat his ass. Hell yeah. I kick his booty. Too many of these fucking things. Oh, snap. Come on. Get 
fucking beat his monkey ass. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Fuck you, Connor. It's not over, Marcus. It will never be over. America. America. Uh oh, snippy snips. Chicken brown cow. Hey, hey. <coughs> hey, North. Oh, damn, North survived. That's cool. North by Northwest. The humans are abandoning the camp. We did it, Marcus. We won. Hell yeah. This is not a victory. It's the beginning of just received some disturbing news from Detroit. Uh -oh. What's happening, Joss? Yes, Michael. Authorities have just announced that the Hart Plaza camp has fallen into the hands of the rebels, following some particularly violent fighting. The deviants are thought to be freeing the androids inside the camp. If these reports are confirmed, Oh the boy, this should be interesting. Be I don't know why they've never made like a sequel to this game. Can't show what happens once like the... Uh, I mean, I guess it would be kind of, since there's so many, like, endings to this game, I guess it would be kind of hard to make a, a sour sequel to this game with so many endings possible. Android Camp number 5 in Detroit was attacked by thousands of deviants. Our armed forces put up a brave fight, but given the extreme violence of the attack, extreme. they were forced to retreat after suffering heavy losses. An extremist. Fighting is breaking out all over the country to combat the android rebellion. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate and convene an emergency meeting of the United oh, no. Nations Security Council. United Nations. Humanity is about to fight the most important battle in history, one that will lead to our victory or to our extinction. Oh, snap. God bless you. God bless the Queen. And God oh, whoops. bless the United States of America. <laughs> Guess I was the wrong one. Today our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our blah, 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 blah. we have kept our pain to ourselves. We we all suffered times I play this game. I don't think I've actually ever made it to where like uh, Alice to and Kara made it to Canada. And tell humans who we I don't even know if I've had made them where they completely survived the whole way through the game. Tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a, a nation. Domination. Nation. A nation that has domination. earned the right to live in freedom. We free. are the nation. A domination. And today, today begins the most challenging the moment nation. in our fight. Today begins a new struggle. What kind of struggle. We've showed them that we can prevail. So now they must negotiate with us as equals. If they really want peace, they must free all of us from every camp across this country. They must and grant boobies. us civil rights. <laughs> and accept the equality boobies. amongst humans <laughs> and androids. I got boobies and boobies. Today we'll live forever in sure about that? because this is the day that androids made Hell history. Yeah. We are alive. And now we are free. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, so many of them just kind of walk white and stand in there, and some of them are actually like got uniforms and stuff on. As much as they're cheering, why is everybody just kind of standing around? We are the nation of domination. Well, at least we got survivor made it through this game with one person survivor, one android surviving. 
De La Fontaine, Guillermo, Marcus Jesse Connor, Valerie Curry, Aubrey Brustini, Brustin, Hank Spanderson, I like to move it, move it. There's no way we can skip through this part. I thought for sure I'd play, I'd play this game before there's a way to like, skip through those credits. Oh, sons of bitches. Well, maybe if I remember to, I'll kind of just kind of cut out all these. Or edit out these commercials. Just, or the, not the commercials, but the... Edit out the credits just to kind of make the game, or make this video a little bit shorter. Because I'm sure most people don't want to go all the way through watching these credits. Lead characters, Amanda and pajamas are running down the stairs. <laughs> Does anybody remember the dang uh, bananas and pajamas show that used to be on like PBS or whatever it was, or was it PBS or was it, like one of the like NBC or CBS or something? I don't know, I don't know what, bana my, what Bananas and Pajamas would have to do with anything PBS, but well, I just thought all those shows on PBS are kind of weird anyway, so I guess it wouldn't be that surprising to have banana or humanoid bananas or a humanoid or animated humanoid bananas in a game or in a PBS show. Golly, man. Got some beer. What the heck? I didn't they're showing. If they're showing clips from the parts of a game that hasn't happened for me. I, I don't remember there being anybody going around buying beer while I was with the guy or the convenience store clerk dude. I don't really don't have any remorse killing that one dude. That Alice's dad. I mean, I'm not from like murdering people, but I don't really. Have, Feel, but I guess I wasn't really, I guess I was kind of at least not a lawyer or anything, but that, I guess, seemed like that situation was more self-defense than it was a like murder, maybe at most manslaughter, maybe. But, I mean, it seemed like he was trying to, Carl was trying to defend herself, trying to defend her and Alice more than she did it just because she was trying to kill him or whatever. There you go, I guess we just had to wait through that little section right there. Detroit, yeah! Connor left. Connor died. Damn! Hell yeah! Shoots tanks, look at all the crap we missed. Or all the crap I missed, holy shit isn't it? Approaching recall center. Android is shot leaving. Android stays. Oh, that was his hand. Uh, let's see. I guess uh, I didn't continue, I didn't do anything with Connor in that mission, so I guess that makes sense. That I didn't really do anything except for Connor got got his ass beat. But I mean, I guess that's only one character. Only one. Oh no. You have Oh, sorry, I was just going to see if she was going to say anything else. Oh, well, I guess that's Detroit Become Human, so... Um, I guess, like I said, if any of them, like, like I said in my last video, uh, looks like I'm going to be starting a new game here up soon, so... If anybody has any, like, suggestions for, like, story-based games you want me to play for this channel going forward, feel, always feel free to... Let me know in the comments down below, and if you like this kind of content, feel free to hit the like and subscribe, or if you dislike it, feel free to hit the dislike and let me know in the comments section down below either way, but as always, I appreciate you taking the time to stop by, and hope to see you around next time.